Installing telemetry sensors on your Traxxas vehicle allows you to monitor data like speed, RPM, voltage, and motor temperature in real time using the Traxxas Link app. Telemetry can be installed on most Traxxas models, and some models are factory equipped with telemetry sensors. Before installing the sensors, make sure you have a TQI receiver in the vehicle, as well as a compatible TQI transmitter with the Traxxas Link wireless module. This allows you to connect the Traxxas Link app on your phone or smart device to the transmitter. Check the guide on Traxxas.com or at your local hobby dealer to make sure you have a compatible radio system. We will demonstrate the installation on a slash 4x4. Here are the parts needed for a basic telemetry setup. Telemetry trigger magnet and holders for the spur gear, a long RPM sensor, the long temperature and voltage sensor, a mount for holding the temperature sensor to the motor, a power tap to read battery voltage, and a first generation high current connector housing, unless your model already has this connector. You will also need your basic 2mm and 2.5mm hex tools, and a flat head screwdriver. A few small zip ties may also be used for securing the wires. Remove the screw that holds down the motor cover and pop the cover off. Now remove the rear section of the truck by removing the four screws holding it into the chassis. There are two on top of the chassis and two on the bottom. Detach the rear assembly and remove the slipper clutch. Now remove the screw that holds the plate to the motor mount and pull out the motor. Remove the three screws that hold the motor mount, two on top and one on the bottom. The motor mount should have a slot to hold the RPM sensor. Remove the screw and plate from the motor mount where you will insert the RPM sensor. Use the screw included with the RPM sensor to hold it in place. Now we'll attach the magnet and holder to the spur gear. Slide the magnet into the groove in the holder with the red mark on the magnet facing up. If the bearing came out of the motor mount with the slipper clutch, pull the bearing off. Remove the three screws from the spur gear and attach the magnet holder so that the three holes line up with the gear. Use the included hardware to secure the magnet holder and replace the bearing. Now reattach the motor mount to the chassis. Put the slipper clutch assembly back into the chassis, making sure it fits securely into the center drive shaft. With everything lined up, you can reattach the rear end to the chassis and replace the four screws we took out earlier. Take out the temperature sensor and secure it into the mount. Use the included zip tie to loop the sensor around the motor, placing the thermal pad between the sensor and motor. The zip tie should be secure, but still allow for fine adjustment as you put the motor back in place. Once in place, use the silver screw to reattach the plate to the motor mount. Set the gear mesh appropriately before fully tightening. With the motor installed and gear mesh set, replace the gear cover. Route the wiring from the sensors past the motor and secure with the motor wires or along the ESC. You can secure and bundle the wires with small cable ties if desired. Now open both covers on the receiver box and route the connectors into the main receiver compartment. Insert the gray connector into the slot for voltage temperature with the red voltage connector completely outside the receiver box. Insert the blue connector for the RPM sensor into the RPM slot. Secure and tuck any excess wires into the receiver box and replace the covers, being careful not to bind any wiring. Before connecting the power tap, ensure that your ESC is outfitted with a first generation high current connector. If your ESC has the second generation connector, just pull the terminals out or push them out with a small flathead screwdriver. Now snap them into a first generation housing. Attach the power tap for the voltage sensor onto the connector from the ESC. 
Plug it into the red voltage connector that we left outside of the receiver box. Download the free Traxxas Link app for your mobile device and use the wireless Bluetooth module to pair with your TQI transmitter. Go to the in-app dashboard to monitor the gauges. For model and telemetry setup, enter the garage. For the most accurate readings, make sure your gearing, tires, vehicles, and battery type are all correct under the model settings. For more information about telemetry and the Traxxas Link app, visit us at Traxxas.com.